Okay, in this video we've got um, we're cleaning dirty water out of a big t big tank. We're starting with 106 pounds of a contaminant in a large tank of water. We want to remove the contaminant, um, but uh, but not the but leave the water there, right? The clean water there, I guess. Um, so our cleaning process removes removes 18 percent of the contaminant of whatever's in there each hour, right? So in the first hour, it's like 18% of 106, 106 pounds, and then it's 18% of whatever's left from that, and then 18% of whatever's left from that, and so on. Now please round your answer to the nearest pound. Uh, how many pounds of contaminant are left in the tank after 10 hours, okay? So to me, this calls out for a nice little table. We'll just take our time and, and talk through it just so we understand what's going on, all right? so. Um, so each hour we're removing more contaminant, right? So I'm going to do a little table with like hours and uh, pounds of contaminant remaining, okay? Um, I'll just do hours and pounds, how about that? Nice and simple, okay? So initially zero hours we've got 106 pounds, you all agree on that? Okay, and there our process removes 18% each hour. So after one hour, we're going to remove 18%. Okay, so there's a couple of ways of doing that. I'm just going to do over here. I'm going to okay. What if we did like you know 18% of 106? Okay, we can do that, and that is just you know uh, 0.18 times 106. Zero. 0.18 times 106 and that gives 19 um, 19.08 uh, and then we go you know 106 minus 19.08 and we get 82.86.92 okay 86.92 so after one hour we'll have 86.92 pounds remaining. Um, there's a cooler way of getting the amount remaining though because you know after two hours now we have to get 18 percent of that so I guess we can do that like you know 18 percent of 86.92 and by the way we have to end up by getting 10 how many how much is left after 10 hours but 8 percent of that uh, 0 0.18 times 86.92 uh, 15.64 uh, 15.6456 and then we subtract that from the 86.92 so 86.92 minus I'm just going to type in second ANS to get the answer up here and that's 71.2744 and so on right Uh, this is okay it's a bit cumbersome there's a cooler way of getting the uh, the amount and, and 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 what we do is we say okay you know what's what's a hundred percent minus 18 percent can you figure that out for me what's a hundred percent minus 18 percent right so that's 80 two percent okay so so the cool way to do it is to take your 106 pounds and times that by 0 0.82 or 82 percent because watch what that does okay 106 times 0 0.82 86.92 same thing right so in one calculation without having to subtract anything I'm getting the I'm getting the answer okay and after two hours, I can go 106 pounds. I start with 106 pounds, and then I get 82% of that to see what's remaining after one hour. But I get 0 0.82. I multiply by 0 0.82 again to see what's remaining after two hours, don't I? Or, or in other words, it's 106, um, you know, times, I'll just do it in calculator speak, 0 0.82 to the power of 2, right? So after 2 hours, 
it's this to the power of two. Plug that in the calculator and you should get 70, the 71 number there, right? So um, 106 times, sorry, um, let's see, 0 0.82 to the power of two. And there we go, 71.2744. So we're getting 82% of it for the first hour, 82% again for the next hour, and so on. And after three hours, what do you think the formula would be? Press pause and do that. Well, it's just 106 times 0 0.82 to the power of three. There we go, to the power of three. And that gives us what's left after three hours. And I'm going to just going to go up with my arrows. I'm going to highlight that, press enter. I'm going to go across. I'm going to type in a three instead of a two, press enter, and I get 58.445, right? Is this a linear function or an exponential function? This is an exponential function and it's decreasing. Therefore, it's exponential decay. Why is it exponential? Because, because it's of the form, um, because we're multiplying by a percentage after each time period, each year or each hour or each second, right? And by the way, it, 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 will, it looks like this, the initial amount A times 1 plus the rate to the power of T. That's an exponential form. In fact, it's 1 minus R, you could say. So our formula, as you can see, is it's, it's shaping up to be 106 times 1 minus 0 0.18, you know, to the power of T, the number of hours. Isn't that right? So that's our exponential uh, formula for this. And so we have to figure out what would happen after 10 hours, right? See if you can do that. Press pause and figure out the answer. Okay, I'll do it with you now. So after 10 hours, we start with our 106 pounds that we began with. And every hour, we're getting 82% of what is remaining. So we times it by 82%, and then 82% after two hours, and another 82% after three hours, and so on and so forth, until it's 82 to the power of 10. It's 80.82 times itself 10 times for 10 hours, right? And that's our formula. That's how we get it after t what's left after 10 hours. And round your answer to the nearest pound, okay? So let's plug that in the calculator. So we got 106, um, let's see, times 0 0.82 to the power of 10. And we get 14.569. I'm going to round that up to 15, aren't you? Because look, it's a, there's a 14.5. So the 5 rounds up. So that should be rounded up to 15. 15 pounds, LB or LBS, right? So after 10 hours, we went from 106 pounds in the, of contaminant in the tank to 15 pounds. Not too bad, right? Wouldn't drink it though, would you? <laughs>